dear students welcome to english class today we will be dealing with part 2 of poem 3 in your textbook flamingo keeping quiet written by pablo neruda in the first part of the poem that's from lines 1 to 21 the poet emphasizes the need to introspect and bring in the spirit of brotherhood among the people of the world he wants people to stop talking and stop all movements symbolizing agitation and restlessness till he counts 12 that's a short period of time these moments of silence would be strange and exotic man would get an opportunity to realize how he is destroying nature and how he is harming himself futile wars against man and nature would be arrested and a new feeling of unity would be experienced now let's see what the poet has got to speak to us in these lines what i want should not be confused with total inactivity life is what it is about i want no truck with death the poet here warns us that his message of silence should not be confused with total inactivity or inertia He further clears that his message does not have any affinity with death even. Life cannot be brought to a standstill under any circumstances. It's an ongoing process and it has to move on. He wants us to stop a while and feel the tranquility so that a positive introspection is done. Moving on to lines 27 to 34. If we were not so single minded about keeping our lives moving and for once could do nothing perhaps a huge silence might interrupt this sadness of never understanding ourselves and of threatening ourselves with death here the poet emphasizes that man is single minded about his own progress and advancement he is so focused on his own development that he forgets to visualize the pros and cons of reckless advancement mankind in its race for materialistic success has sacrificed its emotional needs at some point of time people are so engrossed in fulfilling their ambitions and successfully completing their duties that they tend to forgo their inner mental satisfaction thus they tend to become sad and isolated so let's see the further explanation The poet wants everyone to take out just a few moments from their busy lives for themselves and for the natural world around them. He feels that if men are not so determined to keep lives moving all the time, the ensuing silence would interrupt sadness that has become so much a part of us that we do not even notice it. This sadness comes from not knowing oneself and always trying to achieve everything possible at the earliest out of an illogical fear of impending death the last part of the poem lines 35 to 39 perhaps the earth can teach us as when everything seems dead and later proves to be alive now i'll count up to 12 and you keep quiet and i'll go In the first line the earth can teach us is an example for personification the poet wants us to learn a lesson from the earth the earth appears to be inactive yet it is constantly and selflessly productive after the cold inactive unproductive winter spring arrives with bounty and vivacity men too could be productive and progressive without any aggression selfishness and the urge for destruction they could care for nature as it cares for them they could after all their selfish actions bring back a degree of nobility thoughtful attitudes and universal brotherhood likewise our life will also bear certain meaning when we walk on the right path that's introspective in silence in the last two lines of the poem the poet leaves us to introspect as if he himself has gone to the sea that's why he tells us now i will count up to 12 and you keep quiet and i'll go so dear children now let's have a recap of the literary devices used in the poem 
first one alteration in the usage we will we would and was with was sound is repeated so it's an example for alliteration in sudden strangeness sir sound gets repeated his hurt hands her sound and in clean clothes cur sound is repeated next literary device is metaphor example in the shade put on clean clothes assonance now we will count to 12 and not move our arms so much example for anfora let's not speak in any language let's stop for one second in these lines the word let's is repeated and both the lines begin with the word let's not move our arms is an example for synecdoche through this the poet asks us to stop all kinds of physical activities arms is an example for pun arms here stands for a body part as well as a weaponry without brush without engines in this line the word without is getting repeated so it's an example for repetition the same in the case of was with gas and was with fire cold sea is an example for transferred epithet doing nothing is an oxymoron words having opposite meanings are combined together or used together antithesis example as when everything seems dead and later proves to be alive the usage of the words dead and alive then comes personification towards the end of the poem here earth is personified students please go through these questions and answer them in 30 to 40 words so dear students hope the message conveyed by pablo neruda is clear to you let's find time to introspect and create a feeling of mutual understanding to make this earth a better place to live in thank you have a nice day